prep class on side control. PPE, prevention, protection, escape. So prevention, step one, prevention. He's passing my guard, T-Rex arms on my side, foot back here is posted. And now I don't let him anchor his hands and I do good shrimp and reset to keep him from being able to uh, get that side control. Step two on here, he crosses over me. I take this hand, I grab his tricep, I push it down. I now come to my elbow, plant my feet, and I strip my butt back while extending this arm and creating a nice solid frame with a good arm extension. Step three, boom, he sits. When he sits, I make sure I'm on my side. My forearm goes right here to his neck or I grab the gi. Now I'm gonna make a big shrimp and bring my elbow to the ground. As I do that, I lasso my leg through, come to my knees, preventing him from getting the side control. If he beats me and he gives me a side control, now we go protection. I protect my arms, three places, over the head, under the arm, connect the hands. I'm holding just tight enough to be considered a hug, so when he moves around, he can't get away from me, but I'm not squeezing. The other place I can do it is fingers here, pull my elbow down, close it to me. Fingers here, pull my elbow down, close it to me. The last place I can do arm protection is underneath and over, and I hold and hug right here, or I connect. I'm trying to create a situation where he cannot uh, attack my arms. So as he starts to try to attack, I keep everything in tight and I make him and cause him to give me space to move. Once I get that space, I go. Escape, the best arm positioning is underhook. When I'm underhooked on him and I get some space, what I'm gonna do is I'm holding him tight, he decides to give me a little bit of space. I open my palm to the sky, leg back, Big shrimp, come up to my elbow, and now I can either come to my knees, come to my guard, or while I'm coming to my knees, he attacks my head with some sort of darts choke or anaconda or whatever, and I'm trapped. Now I sit back to my guard, fall back, and I can usually attack the back. The last thing is, it's just escape, E, Making sure I have that underhook is gonna be the best escape. Because if I don't, as I come around, he'll block that hip out. So if I can, I will underhook right here. So as he blocks the hip out, I can just simply bring my leg through and start to come up to my knees. And if need be, I jump back to guard and control him. Last thing, if I want the underhook and I can't get the underhook, no matter what, he just won't let me underneath. I'll bring this elbow down to the hip. This elbow will open up, so my bicep sits on the crown of his head. Both feet will plant, and I will bridge at a diagonal angle and extend my arm. As the arm extends, I will rotate back in, hit the underhook, he will probably come back into me, and I'll have to reset my whole game, wait for some space, yeah. And now, once again, boom. I can get my escape. Cool.